We capitalized the shear walls around the elevator and the stair. Uh, we had two pieces of wall and one center one. And uh, there are all kinds of, eff of effects, again, coming back to the movement, to the acceleration, torsional uh, uh, effects, etc. So uh, we try to maximize, to increase the sizes of the walls, uh, slabs, uh, but we still had a lot of difficulties in terms of controlling the movement of the building. So, uh, in top of that, we try to uh, utilize the uh, very uh, top of the building where we had a, what we call it a belt wall and we connect them, the belt walls with, to the exterior column, columns, uh, to create what we call it an outrigger system. And this outrigger is extremely effective in controlling the lateral movements because somehow it's using uh, the exterior columns increasing the arm. And the longer the arm you have, the more powerful the building is. So we have done it without uh, intruding into the uh, architectural system as a matter of fact they like this wall I guess. Again this is the model. These are the strengths of the concrete that we use 12,000, 10,000, 8,000 KSI. And uh, with the strength and with the core and with the outriggers at the top of the building, still the building moved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too much. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, these are the outrigger connections that I was talking about. Uh, again, the same belt and the connection to the exterior columns. Uh, they were very good, but not good enough. So we had to utilize within the uh, uh, mechanical space at the top of the building, uh, after we did many uh, <coughs> exercises with the wind tunnel people and uh, to see what we can do. Uh, we had to use a supplemental damper. And uh, uh, what is innovative in this building is that uh, normally there are two types and somebody mentioned the mastium damper. This is not a mastium damper. We wanted to use a slash damper in what the waves are being controlled by some slushes that are moving back and forth, but you need room. We didn't have the room, we didn't have the space, so we use what is called a tuned liquid column damper. And these are three segments of U-shaped uh, tubes. Now, they are made out of concrete, they are made out by the same contractor that did the entire building. Uh, they are in size like eight feet by eight feet and uh, by 25 foot long, by 15 feet high. They are filled with water. Now when the building moves this way, the, out, uh, the water, because of the inertia, <coughs> it's going up on the other side. So it's pulling the building back. We have two of them on the east-west direction and one of them north-south. And uh, they combine together, they control very well the building's movement. And it's not expensive also because it's plain water, has some chemicals inside, just not if it's smelly or whatever, but serious. And uh, they also could be used uh, we are thinking about, and we are still thinking, as uh, say, um, uh, water for fire, uh, for sprinklers, uh, because assuming we will not be high winds and the fire at the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a very efficient system, and uh, it's not expensive, and it works very well. Now, 
there are all kinds, you see the letter T, it's a tune. This has to be very well tuned. By what is tuned? It's a screen just in the middle with holes inside. This controls the amount of water that is moving from left to right. In addition to that, there are all kinds of devices that are not shown on this uh, diagram that controls the volume of water of moving, uh, movement of water. For the nine months, for the last nine months, we have all, all kinds of um, tapes on the building to measure the, the, the uh, movements. And uh, right now, we are calibrating this uh, 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 tune liquid column dampers uh, with uh, the actual reality of the building as built. Quickly. Do I have one more? Sure. Let, let me see if I have more slides though. <laughs> okay. That's construction, foundation system, pretty trivial. Caissons, again, we have caissons and uh, a little math foundation. Uh, lots of uh, number 20 bars. Uh, very difficult to find out. Thank That's God. the foundation. Again, the same problems with limited space. But uh, what is funny, though, that there is an additional 25 footer that uh, John mentioned, as a matter of fact, to the uh, uh, north of it. We have the uh, with OMA that we are working with John together with a very spectacular building that uh, right now it's under design that is moving by itself without the wind. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>